farewell for the Chief Justice of India. It is the last day for Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandra Chud. Uh, in fact, let's cut across to the farewell that is taking place right now. Yes. My lords, uh, as being uh, one of the wives from the marginalized community, my lords, when we had invited your lordship in the Dr. Ambedkar's the, the functions, and when your lordship accepted that invitation, no one believed, uh, or, or the lawyers never believed that any of the Chief Justice of India will come to such a program. And your lordship came and your lordship graced those occasions. On the other hand, my lords, we have seen in your lordship's tenure the installation of statue of Dr. Ambedkar. We are very grateful to your Lordship for installing the statue. And also, we have seen a scheduled tribe lawyer to become a judge. Even in the judgments, we have seen that your Lordships have taken and protected the uh, common people and all the marginalized people uh, through your judgments, my Lord. So we are very grateful, my Lords, and we are all the best to your Lordship's future. Your Lordship's future. Hello, so we've heard senior councils speak about the encouragement you've given to young councils. As a, as a young council, I can say that I can't echo that statement enough. We've been encouraged by your lordship on every count. You've, you've, you've helped us when we are in a difficult, tricky spot. Uh, you've always encouraged us and shown us the light path, and we are extremely grateful for that, my lords. And they say that heavy is the head that wears the crown, and your crown is not only in the position that you hold, my lords, but in terms of the empathy, the respect that you've shown to all the members of the bar and your internal kindness, my lords. We are very grateful for the, all the opportunities. Lordship, the there is a huge serpentine queue to express themselves of the lawyers. Right, at some point. <laughs> may, may I just, my lords, sir? May, may not, sir. Party, yeah. say, we not go to the auditorium. We'll yes, come yes, to you. Only last, my lord. So, May I say a few words? Oh, oh Mr. Uh, Mr. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, just two words, my lord. My lord, sir, I just want to mention an incident. I had appeared against uh, you, sir, in the 1960s or 70s in a matter which was argued in the Bombay High Court for a number of days. And you won and I lost. And therefore, Mrods, I knew that you were a brilliant lawyer. Now, much later, your father asked me, this so far as my, Chandrachud, my son is concerned, should I uh, advise him to continue at the bar or opt for the judgeship? And I said, he's a brilliant lawyer. Therefore, he should continue at the bar. He will rise to the very top. But I was proven, uh, proved wrong because you accepted the judgeship and you are here now. And if my advice had been followed, I think we would have lost a great Chief Justice. That's all I wanted to say. To my mind, your Lordship, may I just say? Your Lordship, Lordship, we will miss you, Lordship. You have made a history in our judiciary. Your contributions will be remembered for the generations to come. During my tenure as a Secretary of Supreme Court Bar Association, Whenever we met you, Lordship, you always welcomed us with a warm smile and you listened carefully to our problems and gave, uh, gave us uh, guardian, uh, guidance and, and worked to solve the problems with the great respect, Lordship. And one thing more important, Lordship, no one can stop you because you are the one who is the No one can stop your journey, your Lordship. You are a visionary leader. Thank you. One, for being exceptional Chief Justice of India that this is one more, more your Lord can I request Brother Khanna to your Lordship your Lordship is a judicial statesman to my mind is here as well. yes. your Lordship is a judicial statesman to my mind and your Lordship judicial uh, intelligence uh, will be scintillating over the years across the globe in line with Justice John Marshall and the Lord Justice Lord Denning and Lordship I am Privileged, Your Lordship, I feel myself privileged to attend your first day in, the, in this honorable court when Your Lordship took oath and asked uh, Mr. Harish Sal, who I present with me, to what, what is the age of uh, this uh, honorable judge? And he said, uh, <laughs> you just, just guess it. So, Your Lordship, uh, uh, we all already missed the rabbi, Your Lordship, younger looks, and uh, as well as Your Lordship, uh, erudite, Your Lordship, uh, presence hearing, uh, my, my president already said. That a limitless here a presence here, Lordship. So that's we are very much of life, Lordship, and best of Balaji. Balaji. You will see your Lordship's legacy, my Lord. 
Malods, your lordships will see your legacy, Malods, and the world and the nation will see your lordships' legacy, Malods, in times to come, in decades to come, Malods. 25 years from now, this court will have a lot more women practicing here and the seeds have been sown in your lordships' period, Malods. May your lordships stay forever young, Malods. Great, great. <laughs> last but not the least, Malod, what we experienced was this was justice tempered with mercy, Malod. That's what we all felt when every order that was dictated, Malod. I just want to convey that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I request that the justice come to you. What do I say after everybody has spoken? Well, I didn't have the occasion to appear before him. Thank you. <laughs> but I've been on his side, and I can say he's left my task easy and difficult. Easy because he's done so many, brought about so many changes, made it so many, so much efforts, infrastructure, digital technology, information technology, data, and the setup we have in form of research and planning. Made my task difficult because it's very difficult to come up to him. And that's going to be, it's going to be, I'm going to solely miss him on that account. Uh, I can tell you two more things. Uh, I just went to the chamber. And I got, saw some letters written by young boys and girls, beautifully drawn and painted cards, wishing him well. And that shows that what he has contributed and done is not confined within the four corners of this building. It's much beyond that. These were boys and girls from uh, who were deprived from difficult backgrounds. And the affection and they showed in the cards reflects the true feelings. The second thing is, uh, is ever usefulness is not only known here, but even abroad. <laughs> I had, we had gone to Australia and he joined through video conferencing. So almost everybody came up to me, what is his age? <laughs> so uh, the other thing is, uh, in order to be like him, it's very difficult. He's a vegan. He gets up at 4, 4.30 in the morning. And he doesn't take, he doesn't have food. Ex except for the fact that he likes uh, samosas. <laughs> he offers us very often when he, has the, when he have a meeting. Doesn't have anything else. And he gives you everything to eat. So we catch on it. <laughs> but he leaves behind a court, which is much better much uh, more thriving. The younger members of the bar are now part and parcel of this. Look at the number of seniors who have come about. It gives them an opportunity now to go and accept. That apart, Mitty Cafe, the women lawyers are today almost neck to neck, not better. So wish him all the best. And uh, I'm sure he has lots of things in his mind, right from music to hiking to cricket, and uh, sometimes also writing something, hopefully nice for us. Thank you, and wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Rabbi uh, Justice Khanna, a very dear personal friend, Sanjeev, as I call him, and we are together. If you just look in their designate. Last evening, when my registrar judicial uh, asked me what time the ceremonial bench should be uh, listed for. Uh, he said, sir, we'll list it at 2 o'clock. How many matters do you want to do? And I said, I'll do as many as we can. We should at least have 50 cases for the morning because we shouldn't be wasting any, any moment of the great opportunity which we have in this court to do justice. And why would I want to lose even the last day of my tenure as a judge here? Uh, to be able to be of service to our citizens. But then we decided to fix it at 2 o'clock. In the night, I was a little worried because I said it's a Friday afternoon. And for all I know, and from my experience of this court, by 2 o'clock, the court would be completely empty. And I'd be probably looking at myself on that big screen. But really, I'm humbled by all or the presence of all of you, distinguished senior members of the bar, law officers, the attorney general, the solicitor general, such uh, distinguished seniors who have come here, uh, former judges of the high court, 
members of the Baj among the women, including the seniors, so many juniors who have uh, walked the talk in my court. I don't think I have to say much because in Marathi, as they say, I would have definitely put on a couple of kilograms of weight by all that you have said. If I were to come back to the court tomorrow, I would sure be a puffed up face and a puffed up nose and I'd be, I wouldn't be thinking a great deal about myself. Now, even if I do, it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be delivering justice tomorrow. Uh, but honestly, it's been a great, a great honor to be sitting in this court. Uh, when I was young, I would come and sit at the end of the, the last row in this court, watch the greats of the bar argue, and learn so much about how to argue, how to behave in court, court craft, how to acquire substantive knowledge of the law. And then, of course, these two great portraits. There was no, not a day in my life as a Chief Justice, and even before that, when I sat with Chief Justices in this court, when I didn't quickly glance at the two portraits in this court. Just as we did in Mumbai when we glanced at the portrait of Chief Justice uh, Mr. Chagla. Uh, because that was the Chagla court, and we felt that there was this overpowering presence. But the overpowering presence of the two greats of this court was, in that sense, a great, uh, a great uh, sobra, uh, a sobering reflection for all of us that there are limits which you cannot transcend. And the one cause in which we are involved in this court is the cause of ultimate justice to the citizens. We are here as pilgrims. And, you know, birds of passage, we come for a short while and then we leave. But the work which we do can either make or mar the institution. Uh, of course, none of us is that important that, you know, you feel that, well, uh, the court is not going to survive without me. Because there have been great judges who have come here in the past. They've passed on the baton to succeeding generations. And that's something which sustains the institution of different people with diverse viewpoints coming into the court and passing the baton along. So I'm sure that uh, you know my leaving uh, in another two minutes from here is not going to make the slightest difference to the court, and particularly because I know the person who is going to lead this court after me is somebody who is so stable, so solid, and so committed to the cause of justice as uh, Justice Sajid Khanna. So I leave the court with that sense of uh, uh, a sense of happiness that you know the person who is going to come and sit here from Monday is a person who is so. Uh, so dignified, so aware of the position of the court in the wider social and political life, the historical perspective of this court. I spent the last two years uh, sitting in this court with uh, Brother Justice Pardiwala and Brother Justice Manoj Mishra. Three of us are in so many ways so similar, but in so many ways we bring to each other's lives that element of diversity because we had such wonderful uh, times together on the bench, uh, cutting jokes, talking the talk, uh, working very, very seriously on some matters, uh, even the smallest matters where we had a video conferencing uh, exchange with someone in our chambers. It would be always serious talk on what was best in the interest of that particular family or that person who was before us. But overall, I think uh, just being in this court right from you know, the Noida courts, as we call them, among the members of the bench, down to the first five courts and now the Chief Justice's court, has been an enormously, enormously sustaining and enriching thing. You ask me you know, what keeps me going. It's this court which has kept me going. Because there's not a single day when you feel that you have not learned something, that you have not had an opportunity to serve uh, society. And there's no greater feeling for a judge than to be able to serve those in need and uh, people you would never meet, people you possibly don't even know, people whose lives you have the ability to touch without ever having seen them. But that's the great joy and charm of uh, judgeship which I've followed over the last 24 years through the ups and downs. And then to imagine that I'd actually walked to the Chief Justice in 19. 99, early 2000, and said, can you please relieve me of this obligation of becoming a judge? And Chief Justice Sabarwal told me, wait for a week. And uh, that week changed my life. So I'll conclude by thanking all of you. Each one of you, believe me, each one of you has taught me so much that I didn't know about law, and more importantly, what I didn't know about life. 
because in all that all of you said to me in the court, I learned so much about life. I learned so much about life today. I mean, those 45 matches which we did. There's no case which is similar to an earlier case. So in every case that you decide here, we learn so much about what's happening in society, what's happening across the nation, and the importance of the position of this court to sustain the faith of common citizens in the work which we do. If I've ever hurt any one of you here in the court, sometimes even I can get irritable. Alpana tells me that all the time. Only she can put up with someone like me. But, but if I've ever hurt any one of you, I would like to uh, just say, please forgive me for uh, something which I didn't intend to ever uh, say or do, which may have uh, hurt you. And thank you very much for coming in such large numbers. I know at the end of it all, it's been really worth it for me every moment. Thank you. Thank you.